Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm back with another beauty review. And this time around I have the Pharmacy Honey Drop Lightweight Moisturizer. Now this moisturizer I purchased from Sephora in the US. Now Sephora USA does not directly ship to Australia. I did have to use a shipping service to assist me in getting this shipped to Australia. I use the Australia Post Shopmate. I do have a uh, video about that, which I will leave linked down below if I can remember to, uh, if you are interested in that. Now, I'm not sure about the UK or um, Europe or any other places around the world. That's something you're gonna have to investigate for yourself, but that's where I got mine. So, first of all, the packaging is beautiful. It's got a beautiful sort of honeycomb look on the top of it. So let's open it up. And by the way, I did trial this for a week. It should say one week trial in the title, but sometimes I forget to put it in there. So that's the moisturizer that you get. It's got this beautiful sort of hexagonal look to it, which is very, very good. Actually, yes, it is a hexagon. <laughs> Had to remember, you know, grade one geography there or um, math, not geography. My brain's not working today. Anyway, this is the little spatula that comes with it uh, that you can use to scoop out the cream, which I found very helpful. And it is magnetic, so it just clicks on the top like that, which is great. And the description of the product is that it is a lightweight moisturizer with hydrating honey, triple hyaluronic acid complex, and Kuapku butter beads. Can be used morning or night um, and gives a glowing complexion and non-greasy. So this moisturizer is a very lightweight moisturizer. The title is correct. That's what it looks like on the inside. And it is extremely, extremely light. I will say that. Even me with normal skin, I didn't feel like this gave me a ton of moisture. I felt like this was sort of okay if it was being used sort of as a base um during the day under makeup or something like that because it does sink into the skin really quickly and it gives you that sort of very quick acting base that helps with your primer and everything else that you're putting on your skin i wouldn't recommend this as a nighttime moisturizer unless you've got really oily skin or your skin doesn't need like a ton of moisture in general if you take fairly good care of your skin and you just need something really light to put on top um, I didn't find this irritating at all. It didn't give my skin any sort of reaction. But then again, I didn't really notice any changes in my skin whatsoever. I actually found my skin was a little bit drier than normal. Um, I feel that this cream is definitely a lot lighter than even a lot of the gel creams I've tried before or just gel moisturizers in general. It's sort of on that same level, if not less, in terms of moisture, which kind of is a bit weird because, like I said, it has Kuapku butter, it has honey in it, which is notoriously hydrating you know so i kind of am a bit confused in the hyaluronic acid as well and i did apply quite a lot of product i made sure that i put a decent amount that i wasn't just putting a light covering on i made sure i put quite a bit of product on so it was covering things now is this moisturizer a terrible moisturizer definitely not but i think at the price it's not what i was hoping for in a lightweight moisturizer like i said i think there's very specific times that you can use this i think it's great under makeup because it is so lightweight it does sink into the skin really quickly it does what it says i mean it, it promises to give you that lightweight feel and it promises to sink into the skin really quickly but you definitely have to weigh that up for yourself in terms of do i want to compromise a little bit of moisture for that lightweight feeling or do I want something that's going to give me a really nice moisturization and for me it's not what I look for in a cream like I love the lightweight aspect of it of course I think everyone does but I think that there's definitely a fine line between being too lightweight and not moisturizing enough and having that little bit of extra heaviness to the cream while still giving you that moisture as well so yeah, it's, it's one of those things that is so individual. And I think that moisturizing creams are definitely an individual thing and everyone's skin is different. But for me, like I said, with normal skin, I just felt like it wasn't enough even for daytime use. I definitely wouldn't recommend it for the nighttime. And 
yeah, look, it was okay. But I mean, at that price, I really do expect a very high quality moisturizer that's going to give me a really nice effect on the skin. Now, in terms of the scent of the product, I think the scent is really nice. It's, it's a very, very light scent. It's like the tiniest amount of sweetness. You wouldn't even pick it up as a honey scent. It's just a very tiny sweetness, but there wasn't a lot of scent to the product, which I think can be a positive for a lot of people. I definitely was expecting a little bit more considering they are marketing it as a honey moisturizer. I would have expected a little bit more of a honey smell to it, or even that little bit of a beeswaxy kind of smell. And I didn't get that with this product either. So it was a little bit of a letdown in that respect as well. I know a lot of people do like those moisturizers that don't have much scent to them. And I think that that would also be a great option for you. But I definitely feel that you can get something very, very similar at the drugstore that will do a very similar job. There's plenty of moisturizers with hyaluronic acid out there now. I mean, The Ordinary does one and The Ordinary is a very reasonably priced product and they do the job really well. So yeah, I don't think it's worth the money for most people out there to buy this product unless you're someone who uses pharmacy products on a regular basis and it's a brand that you really enjoy. I just think you are paying for a brand name and also the packaging with this product. Like I said, the packaging is beautiful. The way that they've thought about the packaging and put a hexagon as the package obviously to represent, um, you know, when bees make honey and the little caps and the honeycomb that they make. I think that that's obviously a very smart marketing move and it does make you think of the product in that respect but really do you want to be paying top dollar for a moisturizer that just has nice packaging i don't think so <laughs> i i definitely won't be repurchasing this product once it's used up it's used up i probably will reuse the actual container because it is such a beautiful container um i'll probably put a different um, cream in there of some description or use it to display something because it is just such a beautiful component and I do love the top as well how it's got this sort of wooden feel to it and obviously the magnetic um, idea is such a really such a really <laughs> such a awesome idea a really good idea um, I, I really like that aspect of the product as well so yeah a little bit disappointing I have been pretty impressed by most of the skincare that I have been reviewing lately but yeah this one just misses the mark for me and yeah let me know if you've tried this product before let me know what your thoughts are I definitely would love to hear from someone who's tried this on an oily skin type or a very very oily skin type let me know if it helps control the oil or if it just helped you get that light moisturization that you needed without being too much because I think that that's probably the best use of this product to be honest with you even though it's not specifically marketed at an oily skin type i think that's probably the best market for it mm. so thank you so much for watching this review i really appreciate it please comment down below if you've tried other pharmacy products as well i definitely would love to get some recommendations um, so that i can try out some other bits and pieces but until next time take care and i do hope to see you soon bye for now